Okay, for our next example, <clears throat> we are going to write, we are going to write, um, this is number two, write 0 0.333 dot dot dot. Uh, we're going to write that as a fraction. Okay, so step number one. Let x be the repeating portion. So it'll be 0 0.3 bar notation. We know that this and this is the same thing. Okay? We just write it, we wrote 0 0.3 bar notation instead of writing all of the numbers because this makes it easier. The next thing I'm going to do, I am going to, since there's only one digit repeating, right? 3, 3, 3 is the only one digit repeating. I am going to multiply both sides, multiply both sides of the equation, both sides of the equation by 10. And the reason I'm multiplying by 10 is because there's only one digit, re digit repeating. Okay. All right, so I am going to do that. I'm going to go 10 is equals to 0 0.3 bar notation, but I am going to multiply each side by 10. So 10, time, 10 times that, and then 10 times that. I am going to multiply it. So 10 times 6 is just 10x, is just 10x equals to 10 times uh, 0 0.3 bar notation. Remember, when you multiply uh, by 10, it's just like moving the decimal point over once. So I'm gonna move the decimal point over once. And remember, there is there is threes to infinity going to the right. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to write three. I'm moving my, my decimal point over. So this becomes a whole number. And then remember, there is three, 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 three for forever. So I'm just going to bring one of them. And that's it. That I multiplied by 10. The next thing I'm going to do, um, I am going to subtract, step number three, subtract the value of x. And remember, the value of x is what we assigned uh, x to b, right? So the, when I mean the, when I when I say the value of x, I'm, I really mean this. We're gonna take away this part, and we're gonna do that on both sides of the equation. On both sides of the equation, And then as you know, what I mean on both by both sides of the equation, we talked about this last time, that the, this side, this side is my left side of the equation, right? This is my left. And this other side is my right side of the equation. So the, the equal sign is what's dividing the left and the right. This would be the right. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I am going to um, take away from 10x is equals to 3.3 bar notation. So I'm going to write it again. I'm going to write the equation. 10x is equals to 3.3 bar notation, but I am going to take away the value of x. So I'm going to go take away x equals to 0 0.3 bar notation. And then we're going to um, do that subtraction. Now, what I mean by 10x, think of it this way. 10x means that I have 10 of them. I have 10x's. So I'm going to write them over here. I'm going to do it right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have 10 positive x's. That's what it means. 10x's, right? 10x. But then it says take away one, so I'm going to take one x away. So what what I have left is I'm going to cancel one, right? I'm taking one away. 
So what I have left is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine x's left. I'm going to write that here. Equals two. And now this means this. 3.333 dot dot dot. Remember there's a lot of threes there. And it says to take away 0 0.3. So in a sense, what I'm doing, <clears throat> I am taking away all of the repeating part. I'm taking away the repeating numbers. All right. So think of this. Imagine that I'm I'm canceling out all the threes that repeat uh, forever, and I'm just gonna cancel out everything else. So what's left is just the three. So this is the number that I'm going to write here. What's left is just three. <clears throat> so now we have a new equation. The equation is 9x equals to 3. So step number 4. Not, when we say 9x equals to 3, we really mean 9 times x. 9 times x equals to 3. So I don't want 9x. I just want the value of x. So I need to divide by 9 on both sides of the equation. And we need to divide whatever you do to the left, you, you need to do it to the right to keep the, the equation balanced. That's about, uh, okay, so I'm gonna write over here. 9x is equals to three, but then it says divide by nine. So that's what I'm going to do. And to divide, I'm gonna show it as a, as a division. This line means like to divide this by this. It's like a fraction, fractions are division. So 9 divided by 9, and I'm doing it to the left, I got to do it to the right. So I'm going to divide by 9. Now we know that 9 divided by 9, 9 divided by 9 is 1. That cancels out is 1, x comes down. And then I have 3 over 9. Now 3 over 9, it's perfect, right? It's perfect, but I need to simplify it. And there it is. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And nine divided by three is nine divided by three is three. So this is my answer. And to show it to you, I'm going to do it right here. So one divided by three, and as you can see, it's 0 0.333333, and it stopped right here because the screen is this small. Okay.